Hi guys, I'm Gordy Camp, and I have been thinking about dapper laughs. Um, there's an awful lot of controversy going on at the moment, so I would like to discuss it. Okay, so when I took to the internet this morning, and I went on Facebook, and I went on Twitter, and I started seeing all this um, stuff let's say, about Dapper Laughs and what's been going on in the news and on his show and it's been going on for about a week now or a few, like just less than a week and uh, there was a petition to get his show taken off TV and I watched the Newsnight interview with Dapper Laughs today as well and I, I kind of I started thinking about the results of what's actually happened and I don't know how I personally feel about this because um, as part of this interview like to me I don't believe that his his um, perception of what has been going on in the interview seemed very sincere like, I don't believe he was very sincere in this interview um, but that's beside the point because what's actually striking to me is the fact that this performer this comedian Dapper Laughs has had his whole career taken away from him, practically, as a comedian, because of a specific demographic online um, or in the country. Uh, <coughs> the demographic in specific that has been petitioning and or a majority of the demographic that's been petitioning to get him taken off and cancel his show and people do not agree with what's been going on um, condoning rape or whatever has happened in the show have have taken to themselves to to let this happen and cancel everything that's going on and what actually strikes me is a majority of the people who've had this happen and had his career stripped from underneath him are not the people who his comedy is aimed at. Now as part of the Newsnight interview um, they were showing clips of a stand-up show that he did and it was all taken out of context because as a performer when you're on stage and things are happening and you'll say something or a joke leads into a certain a certain comment and it's basically, I believe it's been taken out of context and his comedy has, con I don't say condoned rape um, or abuse to women but it's played on those things. Now the point I'm going to make here is has his comedy created a potential for more rapists in the country? I don't believe so, right? For the simple reason that if someone has it in them to rape someone else, then that's going to happen. And since his show's been put on TV, there hasn't been any specific data released to say, since Dapper show went on television, rape has increased by whatever percentage. Um, but there is that argument that, but it's creating the potential his comedy is teaching people that it's okay to go and rape or okay to abuse abuse women. Well, if that's the case, then surely the potential for us buying meat from Tesco or whatever wherever it was that had horse meat in it, that's potentially creating a danger to every single meat eater's digestive system in the country. Does that make sense? Like to me that's the potential of um, Russell Brand completely losing the whole stability of the country's financial and political system. Um, but again, it's all related to specific demographics. It's not related to every single person in the country. Now, fair enough if the percentage of rape increased by whatever percent, right? And then people said, yeah, I did it because of Dapper Laughs. Then maybe something should happen. Now I'm not saying rape needs to happen before before something gets done but people's views on someone's career or someone's performance that's fair enough to have those views and have those beliefs and 
that's specific to those people. I'm not one of Dapper Laugh's demographics. I don't, I don't like his comedy, particularly, but it's not aimed at me, okay? It's not aimed at my age group, my lifestyle, my character. That's fair enough. But I watched the comedy and went, I'm just not going to watch this. I'm just not going to buy any meat from Tesco because I don't want the the chance of having horse meat in my food. I saw two very two very prominent uh, comments online as I was looking through all this this information this morning. One was, "Well done to all you people for ruining other performers' life." Another one was, I don't agree with the comedy, but I also do not agree with the whole, I don't like this, so nobody else should like it either, mentality. And that's really what's, that's kind of the thought processes that have been going through my head. And like I said, I don't believe that his interview was very sincere um, on Newsnight, but that's just my opinion. Um, I also believe that the Newsnight reporter, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but picked out certain bits of information and certain phrases that had been said or had been done in terms of female um, rape, abuse or um, disregard for women. Now if that's the case again, then why is Keith Lemon still on television? What, why are quite a lot of comedians on television for condoning ways that women get treated or that, that type of thing? And that's really just, that, that's kind of what I've been going through in my head and I'm looking at this information thinking, what is going on out there? What is actually going on? Right, the police are here, I think I need to go. Um, guys, discuss, I really want to know why or how you guys are, are thinking about this because the key demographic that's actually um, created these petitions and caused the results of um, Dan O'Reilly's um, career problems, let's say, uh, I'm just really intrigued about the mentalities and the reasons for that, I guess. So yeah, I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and I will speak to you in a bit. Bye! Pow!